All right, now we're going to take a look at TEK G.3, which is determining whether a triangle is acute, obtuse, or right given the three sides. So before you could take a look at the angles, but what if we just give you three measurements and ask you what kind of triangle it is? Here's an example. I've got a 4 centimeter, 7 centimeter, and 9 centimeter triangle. Is it acute, obtuse, or right? Well, the one triangle I know the most about are the uh, right triangles. So if I use Pythagorean theorem, I could check and see if this is a right triangle. So let's go ahead and use that strategy and do the Pythagorean theorem. So I'm going to see if the two legs, which are the two short sides, when I square them and sum them, if it's equal to the hypotenuse, which in this case will be my 9 centimeter side. So substituting in the values, I have a squared plus b squared, so 4 squared plus 7 squared, and I get 16 and 49. My sum is 65. Now I square c. It's 9 squared, which is 81. And 81, if it was a right triangle, these two should match exactly, but they don't here. In fact, it's too big, all right? So if it's too big, what does that mean? Well, if I were to put the side here, it would literally be too big. It would hang out over the 4 centimeter side. So if I'm still going to make a triangle out of it, I know I can't make a right triangle, what can I do? Well, I could tilt out the 4 centimeter side, and I could tilt down the 9 centimeter side. What happens to the angle when I do that? Well, I went from a 90 degree angle to a larger angle, so my triangle is obtuse. So if c squared is too big, then the triangle is obtuse. Similarly, what would happen, let me look at a different set of sides. What if c were 7.5 centimeters? Well, you still use the Pythagorean theorem, and in this case, c squared is too small. So here's my, my drawing. I have a 4 centimeter, 7 centimeter, and 7.5. So I'm going to tilt the 4 centimeter in, Tilt this one out so it matches just right. And what happened to the angle? Now it's less than 90 degrees. So this triangle is acute. So that brings up the general guidelines for determining if a triangle is acute, right, or obtuse using the Pythagorean theorem. So if c squared is just right, a squared plus b squared equals c squared, it is a right triangle. If c squared is too small for these, if it is less, if these two are greater than that, then it is an acute triangle because c squared is too small. If c squared is too big, it is an obtuse triangle.